Hi friends, it's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively. I have three cards to show you. I'm using the Cheerful Basket. I've got the deckled rectangle dies, which are fabulous. The dots and, dots and spots die. And then I also have the basket full of um, dies. It's just called basket full dies. There you go. Okay, so we are at the end of May. If you place a $50 order before June 1st, I have two embellishments I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you the iridescent pearls and I'm going to send you those um, flower trinkets that are so pretty. Today's also your last day to sign up to be a demonstrator and get all this new um, in color product for free as a bonus. So that's my information. Now let's, let's do this friends. Okay. My first project that I did, I did with those craft note cards and envelopes that come in this box. They're so cute and I love craft note cards and envelopes, but I also love this little box. Like a lot of times when I get an invitation to a shower, whether it be wedding or baby, I'll make them note cards and envelope thank you notes. And this is perfect because I can make them and stick them right inside that box. So that's what I used for this first one. I wanted something simple. I have people that inspire me. Um, and oh, and the goal was to use everything in the box. So what I did was I took my note card envelope and I used my Memento ink because we like it. I stamped my basket down first. Put my basket right down here at the bottom. I didn't want it to be floating or anything, so I just put it right down there at the bottom. Okay. Then I took my all those fun things that we stampers and crafters love, and I put them. I'm trying not to get my head in the screen. Right on top of the basket. Yay! I've done that twice now. No fail. I like it. And then here's the inspired by you right there in the corner. And then what I did was I like to stamp on um, the craft paper and then use my watercolor pencils. And one of the reasons is I wanted these caps to be white just like they are. So I wanted them to be white. And I love that on the craft paper. And then I just like coloring on it. Um, sometimes I will use um, some of my, whether it be a um, color lifter or the blends or a water painter. Sometimes I'll use those to blend it. And sometimes I just don't. Sometimes I'm, really, I'm okay with just the look of the pencil. You know, especially on this basket, that makes it look to me more like a real basket. I gotta make sure that's not floating. I don't sharpen my pencils a lot because I like them to be a little flatter on the tip. So that's my, um, this is a basic gray. So that was a early espresso, a basic gray for my scissors. And I just don't feel like I need to do a ton of coloring on this to get it the way I want. Then I use the black on my Stampin' Right markers because that's what they are. So here's the black. And then I used um, some a green. This is the olive. Then I used a Pacific Point over there on my the end of my marker. I used the yellow for my pencil. I wanted the brightest thing to be the ribbon that went through the middle. So I wanted that to be my brightest thing. So that's what I did. You don't need to see me color the whole thing. But here's my basket. It just makes me happy. So I have, this is card one, so I can 
um, finish coloring that and um, tell someone how they inspired me. I have so many people that um, do great things and I just, I'm constantly inspired by the people around me. So card one, okay, card two. I liked, I'm gonna move some of my stuff up. You know, who knew when I designed my studio four years ago that I would need a space that I could stamp on, I would have created my space differently if I'd known a space where I needed to have a camera and a, all that stuff hooked up. I love these. These are the new heart pearls. I finally got them. I've been wanting to get them and I hadn't yet. So this is card two. I mean, sending you some get well cheer. How cute is that? Okay, so I'll show you how I did it. I took my black, so I have my basic black cardstock in the back, and I used the cascading ruffles to emboss the paper. So you can see that pretty ruffle pattern. Love it. I wanted to use, this is those, those new tea boutique note cards and envelopes. They're with our ink colors, which is always a good thing. I've got some of my blends right here and a piece of basic white. So I took my little bit of love and I just stamped it kind of off the bottom. That's my basic white. I always, I always look up, as I lean over this, I want to make sure my head's not in the way. You do not want to see the top of my head. Sending some cheer. So there's my little, I added a little bit of cheer. Now I'm going to color these and I used, I have light sorbet, dark sorbet, and then this is number 1000 of the um, flesh tones. I don't remember what they're called because it says on here, it just has the number, um, but it's the one that has all the flesh tones. It's like a set of nine markers. So I'm just gonna go over this. Doesn't matter if I'm gonna use light or dark. I just wanted to go over this real quick. So I did one set of hearts. For those of you who wanna color in detail, I just think that's a fantastic thing for you to do. Me, nope, mm-mm. Then this is kind of a pale, this is my favorite one for flesh tones right now, or for little pale pinks. Like I put it in the kitty cat's ears. And... So there's that one. That's in the light. I'm gonna do this one in the dark just so you can see the difference. Sometimes the hardest thing about using your blend is getting the cap off, right? We had Memorial weekend last weekend. It was busy at my house. And I like it. Today's kind of a quiet day. Sort of, kind of. Okay, so there's my... I'm going to use this color again. It's hot today. It's supposed to be nice later in the week, but today it's hot. So I'm going to put that down on my card, and I'll show you how I did that. I use... This best label punch, you know, uh, my favorite thing to do with it is to notch. So I love to put these little notches in here. I'm gonna take my seal and add my basic black ruffle to the front. I'm gonna take my pretty gingham ribbon. I'm gonna wrap it around and make a bow. And that notch is gonna make it so it slides in the envelope well and that it stays in place without me having to put any adhesive on it. Again, I always tie on the bolt. If you guys watch my videos regularly, you know I repeat myself a lot because I, I never know if you're a first timer or you've seen me before. So for those of you who've listened to me before, sorry you had to hear that again. Okay. 
and then here's my sending I wanted to tuck it kind of right under there I'm gonna stick it on with my dimensionals music to stamp by dude okay I'm gonna slide it right under there so I got all done and I'm like well that's kind of cute but I really felt like I needed to add one more thing and that's when I put on the kitty cat okay so and the pearls because I like these pearls and I really wanted to put them on the black because I knew they'd show up, or the pearled hearts, their hearts, for some reason, they go different directions on the paper, and I have a tendency to pull them off and put them straight on the paper. Well, I need to look to see which way the little hearts go in, because I keep putting them on the wrong way. So cute, so cute. Oh, that looks too matchy-matchy up there. Let's add one in here. Okay, so I've got, added my pearls, and I'm going to show you my kitty. This kitty's a cute little stamp. I have kitties. My granddaughter got a new kitty. She was so excited. Well, she's the one that could talk and tell me about it. There's two other ones. <laughs> the whole family got a kitty. But Willow is four, and she was super excited about her kitty. Her brother, Wyatt, was also a good little cuddler with a kitty. And baby Winona, she was loving the kitty, too. When I asked about the kitty yesterday, I was told that um, it's starting to set some boundaries, which is just funny. Okay, so here is, I have my mini boss, and my kitty fits in my mini boss, ah, and I moved it. I'm waiting and excited for the new mini magnetic platform because on my big boss I've got the magnet and oh my gosh nothing moves it's so good if you don't have the magnetic platform yet I am sorry for you because it's fantastic because it doesn't move and this one keeps moving because of user error <laughs> it needs a magnetic one okay here we go so here's my little kitty. She's super cute. We, their little kitty, its name is, I don't know, last I heard it was S'more. So I don't know whether it still is or not. So see, this is the little ear color that I used. That's that number one that I was telling you about earlier. And then I used the light balmy blue because my kitty needs to have blue eyes. And then I wanted to make it, I used a smoky slate and a gray granite just because I could. I mean, it's a kitty. How meticulous do I need to be with it, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, this is. So I used a gray granite and a crumb cake. My cats are white with stripes. I got a calico, which you've seen on screen, Violet, Michelle. All the animals have middle names um, at my house. That's Violet Michelle. So she, um, you will see her on screen. Dozer, who is the other cat, Bulldozer, my grandson name, Dozer for short. Um, you probably won't see on camera, he's crazy. He's the teenage boy that misbehaves most of the time. He'll stay away for a couple of days. Oh, he's fixed, but he's an inside-outside cat, so he likes to make his mother crazy. Is that not super cute? Sending you some get well cheer. I know a couple people I could use that for. Okay, so then the last card, and I saw a card similar to this or something like it. I don't know. I look at a lot of cards and I flip around and I'll give somebody credit if I can remember where I saw it, but that's the worst. So this is where I'm using this polka dot. It's called Dots and Spots dye. I like it. It just puts holes in. And the holes, 
if they don't stick to the, that new magnetic platform, they pop out real easy. It's not like you're going to have to paper pierce them all. You just run your fingers over and those little dots come out. So there's that die. Here's the card. Oh, here's the card. This is the completed project. How cute is that? Okay. So I'm going to show you what I did here. More blends. Just a few more. And then in here, these are the dies that I used. Yeah, I don't see my, I made an extra apple, so I didn't have to do that one again. I don't see it in here. Because you don't need to sit and watch me run things through the die cut machine over and over again. That's boring. Okay, so I used crumb cake. My super cute bone folder from the Wonder Basement. We love her bone folders. And then I have, oh, this one I tied with linen thread. It's not here at my desk, so we'll be fine. It'll be fine without it. The way these dots line up, I just put my glue dots down. I'm going to scooch this up so you can see it. Sometimes I need to look up at the camera and make sure what you can see and not the top of my head. I just push these down. So I would have some glue dots here. So I could just stick it down with some glue dots. Come on, friends. I have super sticky glue dots right now. The other set of glue dots that I used on my card at my other stamp desk Worked just fine. This one decided it didn't want to cooperate as well. Two new blue dots. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this on with some glue dots. So there's that. And again, I can sneak my linen thread right under there um, if I want to, because it'll just go right under there. Okay, so here's the basket. This basket, I'll show you. This one, I did no detail on. It's just, but it's got a wood grain pattern. I wanted to see if I could make it come out a little bit more. So I was using my blending brush and my crumb cake see if I could get the detail of this basket to show up a little bit more because I like it. So I'm going to use this blending brush and go over it. And then I have these three pieces. I'm going to see if I can shade those a little bit too, just so they looks a little different. Do this some more. Obviously, I'm getting some color on there because you can see it through the see it through the cracks. Okay, so you can see that wood grain just a little bit more on that one. All right, so I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to use those uncooperative glue dots again. I'm going to put one in each corner. And sometimes at my other desk, I'll use like a oh, fine tip glue or a Tombow or something. But I always feel like I need to make this dry done a little bit faster when I'm here with you guys. Because I move, I'll pick it up and things will fall off or something crazy like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this basket on. Now I'm going to add the basket stripes. And I found that they were a little bit longer, but that was okay. All right. Glue dots. Come on, we need to be friends. Okay, so this is the middle one. This is the bottom one. And then this is the top of the basket. And 
And I may tuck that twine under there because that's what it kind of anchored my basket so it didn't look like a floating basket. Oh, poo. This goes on. I took a piece of vellum and stamped the words across the bottom with my tuxedo memento, embossed it in crystal clear, and it goes under here. Oh my, we're going to have to use a little glue. This will stick and stay in place. I'm going to put a little glue behind here because I know I'm going to put my kitty cat right there. So I know it'll hold. Okay. Now I did another kitty. This one I did in gray. I'll do my little kitty. And my apples, so you can see them. I used the deckled rectangle to cut out my vellum. I didn't know if I showed you that. So I used that deckled rectangle to cut out the vellum. These are the pieces for the basket. These are the cute little apples and leaves. The leaves are on this side. Super cute. And then this is the die for the apples and the butterfly. So I'm going to stamp my apples. A dot on the loose. And then my butterfly. Oh, my kitty cat. Put the butterfly up there in that corner. There's my kitty. Okay, so when I colored this, I had some dark daffodil apples. Those are your golden delicious, for those of you who don't know your apples. Here is your Jonathan or Red Delicious. We like apples at our house a lot. We have a friend that has an orchard and we just get so excited to have their apples. And then I used um, sea foam. Oh, that was the light sorbet. Then I used sea foam to do my granny apple apples. I could have used um, a brighter color, but I chose this color because it matches the background of my polka dots. And then this is a light um, old olive. And then here's my kitty. We have a blue. Ah, that's not a good thing. Don't pull so hard. Okay, so I have a light. There's my pretty blue eyes again. This kitty. Oh, I had it gray, but I think I want a little bit of brown on this kitty. I'm going to do this one brown because it kind of matches the basket. I mean, if I read the um, ends, I would know which one was dark and which one was light because sometimes the caps, it's hard to tell. What can I do? Oh, and I colored outside the line, but it's okay because I'm going to cut it out. And here's that pretty number one for the ears. I'm going to go over the whole kitty and kind of blend, make sure it's all blended good. Okay, so there's all my, I used a ton of different colors of blends. Oh, and I wanted a butterfly, so I did the dark and then the light. All right, now, now you get to see die cut these. Aren't you excited? 
I'm super sorry my little tiny apples aren't here because they're just cute. Okay. Here's this. Oh, here's the kitty. Okay. Did my apple move? Yes. All right, I'm gonna cut the kitty. And watch this. And then roll it back. So I know my kitty's cut, and then I'm gonna put my apples back in. So I don't have to worry about moving two things. Come on, friends. I do like this mini for my desk. But I do want the magnetic plate for it because I keep having to, I don't have a piece of post-it here. I'd put a post-it or a piece of washi tape on it. Oh, gosh, friends, tomorrow, if you're a demonstrator, you get an order from the new um, July to December catalog. We have washi tape. I'm so excited. I love the good washi tape. And it's pretty washi tape, too. I can't wait to show it to you. I'll have mine this week. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna do my little butterfly. So if you're not a demonstrator and you wanna sign up to be one today, you can order tomorrow from the new catalog. Now I don't have a copy of the catalog yet. Um, they're sending them to us, but then I'll order some so when I show you this stuff, I'll be able to show you the cover. Can't show you the inside till it goes live, but I can show you the cover all I want. Okay, so I still have a little bit of my outside the lines there just because of the way I place the die. So I'm just gonna trim that off. If the die had been a little more even, you wouldn't have seen that. But I can always trim it. Okay, so this guy, is going to get sealed down behind my basket. I have my kitty, it's going to go over right there. I have my butterfly, that's going to go right above the kitty, so it looks like the kitty's looking at it. And then I used the pretty I used the pretty in color dots to embellish it. And these dots fit in the little dots. So you can put those in there. Cute little dots. So these are the in color matte dots, matte decorative dots. Oh, I found my apple. Good. So I put a little seal on my apple so I could put the stem behind it and stick it on. So cute. And I, I can put my twine around there later. Okay, so you have three cards. Let me move these out of the way so I can lay them out here with my messy pad. We have kitties and inspired. There you, there you go, friends. Thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to get my emails, all you have to do is um, join my email list. And you can find my demonstrator business website at susanmsmith.stampinup.net. All right, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.